hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sagar Pajapati and in this video I will be talking about how to install Visual Studio Code and SQL Server instance and how to connect SQL Server using Visual Code Studio okay so before going to the video I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders here I upload videos on data fact, Azure Data Factory, Azure Databricks, SQL, Python and so on so if you are liking my content you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited so let me open my one note and will tell you what actions or what task I am going to perform today so what we will do today we will download visual studio code okay this is first step then we will install sql server extension second step then we will install sql server sql server 2019 this is the third step and we can say SQL Server SQL Server instance okay so let me open Google Chrome and if I type here Visual Studio Code then in the first first link you have to click and then you can uh, you can choose for your OS system okay right now I am choosing Windows uh, windows if you have mac then you can you know you can use this one so let me download it okay this is 77.6 mb so maybe if you are downloading in future then the size will be uh, more or maybe less it depends on the build meanwhile let me write here sql server instance okay and go down click on this link then you can see we have this option download SQL Server click on it you have these three things SQL Server on Azure SQL Server at the edge and SQL Server on premise go down a bit now we have two things developer and the express mode okay so what we would do we would use here express version so click on it it is also downloaded so let me open first Visual studio setup click on run button do a accept and then click on next button click on next next and then next so you have to ch check this register code as an editor and the, uh, the last option is add to path this, these two things are mandatory and then it is up to you if you want to create a desktop icon or not so I'm I'm clicking on it so, so that my you know in my desktop the icon will be created let me open the SQL 2019 also click on yes so we can you know it is up to you which uh, which installation type you have to choose so uh, so what will I do now I will choose basic one okay and click on accept button choose your location it is fine for me and click on install so it is getting installed so let me minimize it and let me open my visual studio so it is done let me click on finish button now you can see we have uh, we have this visual studio code uh, open here and we have this multiple options over here and this is the option of extension suppose you want to install any extension then you can you can search it here so I want to install SQL Server for now so I write here SQL Server 
with this space. Now you can see we have this first op uh, first uh, option. Click on it and click on install button. So it will take some time. So what I will do for now, I will stop this video and after after some time I will again start this video so that you know the the size of the video will not increase. So let me go back here and let me stop it. So now if you can see here, this has been installed and you can see the instance name is localhost slash SQL express and the database is master and then we have rest of things and here you can see SQL administration also you can see then featured installed and uh, version is this okay so let me close it and let me do one thing is that let me copy this thing okay it is done so let me close it now let me open my Visual Studio code and it is also installed. So what I will do, I will go to the SQL Server thing and then you can see this plus option over here, right? So click on it once it is loaded. So it is loading right now. Okay, so what you want to do, suppose you want to check the service name or the instance name, then what you can do is uh, do a window R, okay, and then write this services.msc, click on OK button. Then you can see here, if you go down a bit, a bit, a bit, and you can see we have the SQL Server, it is running. Okay, then we have SQL Server Agent and then we have SQL Server Browser and so on we have it, right? So we need only the SQL Server. So it is running right now, that is good. So you can see it got loaded and here we have to pass the host name slash instance name. So we copied, okay, so just write this. Database is master, so click write master and do a integrated version because we install it and give here profile name we can give any name so just for the reference so i will i'm giving here local now you can see it got connected now you can see our uh, inst i mean our profile name is local and then we have this database is present here and then we have a security here you can create uh, you can create uh, credentials, server rules, login and so on and then we have the server object, link service and all. So what you can do, suppose you want to write a query then click on this plus button, not this plus button, click on it, go to new query and then you can write anything. Let's say I am writing here, select one right now and click on this play button. So you can see one, one is printed. Okay, it is taking some time. Yeah, they see one is printed. So this is the way how can we install Visual Studio Code with SQL Server and how can we connect a SQL Server using Visual Studio Code. So I hope you have liked that video. If you do, do subscribe and share.